everyone, Madison Wade here. We just got uh, off of the 80 onto the 505, off of an overpass to give you just a look at the fire that's burning right now in Fairfield. So I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see what I'm seeing from this location. Here we go, all right. So this is the fire that's burning right now in Fairfield. That, uh, I was getting a phone call from the desk, but I will just text them over on this phone. Um, so again, this is just a live look of the fire right now in Fairfield. Uh, and this is what we're seeing from this overpass off of the 505 looking south. This has uh, really grown in size since we've been seeing it going south. So again, traffic is so bad, it's so backed up that we actually have to... loud. Traffic is so backed up on 80 right now in both directions heading towards Fairfield that we actually had to pull over uh, to the 505 exit right off of 80 just to show you what this looks like because we couldn't get any further. And there's so many cars, so many people who are wanting to see this fire and looking at it right now that again we just couldn't give you a good vantage point from uh, 80. So this is the fire that's burning in Fairfield right now. There are mandatory evacuations for this fire. Please let me know if you can't hear me. Um, uh, one second, I have to text the desk, which is, hold on. So, I'm on Facebook Live. Okay, all right. So, uh, again, this is the fire started right now um, in Fairfield. The evacuations are in place. Again, we're on the overpass off of 505, really close to 80. So, kind of right where it uh, uh, spears off. Genentech is right there, if that makes any sense for anyone who's around this area in terms of our vantage point. But just wanted to give you a look. We actually have seen some helicopters. Again, sorry. Okay. We have seen some helicopters uh, and aircraft on this fire right now, but right now, in the last like five minutes, I haven't seen any. But the smoke goes all the way this direction, all the way this direction too. Uh, black smoke as well as white smoke. So that's what we're seeing right here. Uh, we have seen some flames kind of cresting that ridge over there. I'm seeing flames again pick up uh, over that, that ridge. If you just kind of see past those cars down the 505. Uh, acreage, Ralph, we don't know. So, and then that you're asking what triggered it, we do not know. It's such a fluid situation, it actually just happened within the last hour. Uh, and it has really grown to size because at this point, when it was a, originally reported, it was just a brush fire on the side of the freeway, um, on the side of 80 near Fairfield. But now the evacuations are in place and I'm gonna read those evacuations once I can get my other Facebook post up. So one second, um, I'm on two different phones here trying to get you guys this information. Okay, so the evacuations are on Constitution Avenue, Estates Drive, and Couple Circle near the Paradise Valley Golf Course. Anyone in that area, according to Fairfield Police, should be uh, vigilant and leaving their homes at this point. This fire, as you can, oh, I wish I could zoom in on this. Um, if I could zoom in, I would be able to show you some flames. It might be good to get those. If we could, do you see the flames, the ridge? Yeah. Like, if we could just cross and just get some video of it. Maybe for a second, then we can continue on. That, that Unless that, you just put that, it all away. That, that lens doesn't go too, too far. Ugh. Alright. Like, so the it's way we saw fault. it earlier is the same as much. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just but it's just crusting, yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, so, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm just trying to figure out some things right now, and I've got my other phone buzzing, too. So, Long story short, this is what's going on in Fairfield right now. If you are seeing this from anywhere in Sacramento, this is the fire that you're seeing. It's burning right now in Fairfield and it is cresting this ridge at this point. There are flames, I wish I could show you, but just on an iPhone, I can't zoom in enough for you to see them. I'm seeing them from where I'm standing. Uh, we are quite a while away from Fairfield over here, uh, but it looks like it's picking up even more over that direction on the right. So this is what we're seeing again. I'll just kind of keep talking about what we're seeing, but sorry. It's been so loud with all the cars going by. Apologies. Uh, so in about maybe in a minute, so they're going to call us back and uh, see if we're going to go in there. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think we should. This looks bad. It's going on that side too. Yeah. Can you uh, take a, do you have Slack on your phone? Yeah. Okay. Or I, do, I have Slack on here. Sorry guys. We're just trying to figure out if we're going to go closer into it or what. Can you just take a picture and slack it? Okay. Um, we are, yeah, I've got my safety vest on fine. So 
I wish I could give you guys more information, but we're not that close to it. I just wanted to show you. Uh, and those the evacuations are still in place right now, but it looks like the fire, since I've been doing, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Since I've been doing uh, this Facebook Live, it has now popped up over in this direction, even more to the right. And it is again still cresting over this ridge. We do see flames. That is not a good sign. It is windy out. We have been noticing that the winds are picking up a little bit during our live time a second ago. Um, but we do not know how this was started, how many acres it is, none of that right now. Thank you. Um, this is exactly what we're seeing from the 505. And yeah, again, it is hot out right now. It's it's 100, I think 100 right now. Um, and windy. I mean, I feel the winds. Again, we're over and over past, though. That's probably impacting the winds a little bit. But uh, it's important to note that this fire goes all the way that direction, too. And there are a bunch of homes that this fire is incredibly close to. So uh, this is, again, what we're seeing. But I think we're going to probably head that direction so we can give you a little bit better of a Facebook Live. Because really, at this point, I can't really tell you much more than what I'm seeing at this moment. There are flames. There's a lot of smoke. Uh, definitely a lot of uh, aircraft on this fire, but I'm not seeing that aircraft at the moment. I saw them earlier, so uh, things are probably going to change. If I get any updates, I will continue to update this Facebook Live, but I think we're going to start heading even closer because I can't show you the traffic, but on 80, 80 is just right here, and 80 is at a standstill right now. So if you are heading towards Fairfield in any direction on 80, be prepared for that. You're not going to get there on time, that is for sure. All right, we're gonna give you guys another Facebook Live in a little bit, okay? Bye.